today's lesson, how to draw a cartoon cake. Before we get started today, let's practice on some sketching techniques. Let's begin with a circle. As you notice, I'll start very lightly and I'll get a little darker and darker. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's practice on a square now. I'm going to do the sides one at a time, a little light and go a little darker, a little more pressure each time to kind of square it off. Just there we go. I like that. Okay, let's do some speed lines now. As you'll notice, I'll go one at a time, straight, light, and get a little heavier. And light, a little heavier, straight out. All right, let's practice on a curve. I'll begin very light again and just keep on flowing over the same line, but putting a little bit more pressure as I go. Good. Let's practice on some zigzagging. Keep them tight first. Very tight now, yep. And open them up and try to apply less pressure. Yeah, that looks good. Let's begin our cartoon cake now. First thing we're gonna do is create some basic shapes, get the structure of our cake. Have the first oval, loosely create the base of it now, and also let's just create a little plate where that might be. Kate's gonna on this simple plate there, all right, and a little center line for me. Let's work on some of the frosting now on the top. This is just quick action, as you can see. There we go. Get some three-dimensional effect. You'll see how I'm going to do that. You can have overlapping lines, which will give you that effect. And let's put the little candle in the middle. Yeah. He's going to put a little face on him. Crosshairs, again, always help me know where the face is. And the center line here is the same thing for the jelly jam, or is that chocolate cream in the middle? I don't know. Maybe my cake is going to be a carrot cake. What about yours? All right, again, the basics there. Oh, finishing up the bottom. All right, again, the top a little bit darker now. Overlapping actions, smoothing the lines out. I'm focusing throughout the entire picture at areas. Like right now, I'll get that little candle, get a little flame on top there. All right, let's, let's work on his face now. You know, his eyes and his nose, give him a big smile. Yeah, he's a happy candle, because he's on that carrot cake. Now a little dripping wax. There we go. Yeah, looking good. All right, oh, got to get those expressions. Big nose there. All right, get that wave of the cream frosting, or is that chocolate frosting? And these little spots are just like the cake part. There's no frosting there. That's what I'm thinking about right now. Okay, I'm going to just give some little speed lines, as you can see, straight, boom, 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 boom. All the way over. Let's do the next row. There it is. Doesn't have to be perfect. You can overlap those lines. It's just to give a little shading and a little texture to show that's a different area. Let's get a little bit heavier now on those areas. That's the cake part. All right, let's get the, the jelly. I like raspberry jelly. I'm getting hungry now for a cake, too. Mmm, yeah, let's shade this in a little darker. And as you can see, I angled the uh, speed line just a little bit different, so it gives a little contrast to the other lines for the cake. Yeah, let's get that bottom part of the cake a little bit better, darker. Yeah, let's get that frosting a little bit more detail, a little bit darker, finishing it up. Yeah. All right, get that second layer behind the candle there. Yep, I have a double line there. Show the thickness, that's all that that's there for. Now let's, let's do some little shadowing right now. Quickly just put that overlapping there and a little indicating there. Another time I'll explain how shadowing can look and how we can even practice with that. All right, let's give it like a shine there, yeah. So this is like a little shadow, but it's indicating like the top part's gonna be glowing more, a little highlight since it's frosting. Hmm, let's work on that hair, on his little wax, but it kind of made it look intentionally like hair. All right, there we go, the stem inside, okay. 
right, okay, let's get that plate a little bit tighter now. There we go. I'll make the thickness there. This is all by eye, not using any perspective. That'll be another class too. I'm going to be showing you how to do one, two perspective. And let's add some shadows down here right now. Okay, I'm zigzagging. As you can see, I start one way and I flow it all the way to the other way. All right. Yeah, yeah. Let's get the cake to indicate some shadow on the plate now. All right, and those fast, fast, just one strokes to shoot them out. Create like, I give them on a table of some sort, so it's just not a floating cake, but it's a cartoon cake, of course. All right, now let's finish it up with your name. Hope you enjoy this one. Check out some of my sketches. The sketches you're currently reviewing, I created two different techniques. One, traditional paper and pencil, while the other, I use my computer. You'll notice some were very sketchy while others were more detailed. The sketchy ones probably were just on the tip of my head and I wanted to get them out before I forgot them, while the others, I wanted to make sure I take the time to really draw what I need to do, possibly for a project. Hey, check us out on Facebook, that's JMG Studio, and also on our YouTube channel, that's John Mark Grove, and on our Instagram account, that's JMG Studio Cartoon. Oh, by the way, make sure you stop at our website, that's jmg-studio.biz, and check out some of our latest drawing books, like this one, How to Draw 50 Different Cartoon Fish. Yeah. <laughs>